This is Scott Goldie Project Concert 150. We are here at the Busbin Black Christmas, and I'm back with my good friend Kristen Ford, who brought her one woman badassery back to Busbin once again to entertain us. <laughs> so fucking cool. I love what you do. Thank you. And we've, we've interviewed a few times. And, yep. uh, and the like. Uh, do you have any new albums out or any new music, anything like I that? I am working on a new record as we speak. I'm super excited about it and should be dropping some months down the line. Okay, do you have a name yet? Name yet? I don't have a name for it, Not yet. but I uh, just wrapped a Kickstarter campaign that was really amazing. The fans really showed up and helped that out. That is amazing. And we've got a good budget. I feel like it's similar to being signed to a label or something where they're like, here's here's your budget, go make something Go awesome. make a music. Yeah. And uh, let's, let's go a little bit deeper into Kristen Ford this time. Because obviously you're up there, you're playing guitar, you're singing, and you're on drums, and you're looping and all that stuff. Where... Where did you learn how to do all that stuff? I mean, what what, what was your process for for putting together all that stuff into one song? Because the normal human being does not do that. <laughs> so you know, it's funny that you asked that here at Buzzman because I remember 2014. It was one of the first shows I ever did as a one-woman leaping band here, and I was so nervous. And they had free burger beers that I got hammered before my set because I was just nervous that I was going to mess it up so I was like I should probably get drunk and then I'll figure it out but that's kind of a just a memory of here and it's just through doing it you know you do enough shows and start to learn it yeah and it's, it's pretty fun jamming by yourself because you can be so flexible there's no writing out a set list or uh -huh. Whatever, just roll with it. And did did you actually study music at some point in your life formally, or did you just pick up a guitar and learn and go? Um, I've had some schooling okay. in in the art of music. Uh, I went to an arts high school. And, okay. Um, a little bit in college, but I feel like more than anything, I've just learned by playing out. Okay. Just playing a lot. And where, where did you pick up the drums? Um, Irving Elementary School. <laughs> <laughs> drums were my first instrument. Oh, wow. They were there. Okay. Um, but uh, I was playing snare drum. And I love drums. But I asked my parents for a drum set, and they said no. So I wound up switching over to guitar when I was Okay. So you, so you had the drums first. Yeah. That's not yeah. the answer I was expecting. I but know. that's cool. I do like playing drums, though. They're fun. Okay. And have you sung basically your entire life then? Did you start that as like a young kid in choir at school or something like that? Or? Yeah, I guess so. I guess okay. always singing. But really writing songs and wanting to sing them was how I learned how to sing. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Totally. Well, it was so great to see you again. Folks, get on to Facebook, follow Kristen Ford, go see her in concert. What do you have coming up right now? Um, I'm headed out to Massachusetts, and then the plan for 2019, because we're like almost in 2019, is a lot of touring. So I plan to be headed nationwide, possibly with a band. I know you like the one woman band, but. But it's it would be. It would be. With the band too, awesome so to see you with I'm, the band as yeah. well. I've been playing with some Nashville cats that are pretty fun, and so hopefully we can take that unit on the road for next year. That would be awesome. Totally. All right, well, thank you so much, and I'm sure that you'll stop at Buzzbin because we get along so well. We love you so much. <laughs> you seem to love us so I much. Do. Every so time hopefully we do Buzzbin again. Cool. Have a great night. All right. Merry Day, Christmas. Wherever you are.